Hello everyone, and guess what? It is a feel good, guess what day it is? Friday. It's the feel, feel good, good Friday. Friday. Keeping a smile on your face. It is April, April showers, so you know, we're loving the springtime. So, yes, we do have a special guest today, the amazing and incomparable <laughs> student doctor Lee Anna Hollingsworth. Hi, I'm so excited. Thank you for having yes, me. Yes, yes, yes. So, tell us a little bit about you. Yes, yeah, so my name is Liana, which you know. <laughs> I'm from the DMV, mm -hmm. um, and I am a first year medical student at Meharry. Okay. Okay. Um, and I love medicine. Yes, my hair is medical. <laughs> I, I love medicine. It's one of my passions. But I also love art. That's one of my other passions. Okay. Um, so this year I've tried to really embrace the both of them. Okay. Um, so science and art are known not to mix. And I like to mix the two. I like to mix the two of them. <laughs> so that goes into what we're talking about today. We are talking about paintings. Yes, she loves medicine. But we're talking about paintings today. So, so tell us about how you got started. So you mentioned about how you wanted to kind of weave in both of your passions. So how did they kind of start and like, yeah, tell us sure. about this. <laughs> yeah, so I've always drawn, it's been like my thing since I was a kid. I use it as like, just like my own little like, like my brother would draw all the time and it just became like more of like a therapeutic thing. Okay. So I okay. use it as like my own little personal therapy. Okay, <laughs> so okay. Like, and like ever since I was a kid, I would, draw it out so whether i had a good day or a bad day i would go paint or i would draw um and then the older i got i got really into like portraits and faces okay. like everyone okay. has just like such a different type of face and after you draw someone i feel like you just like see them in like a different light mm -hmm. um and that's what i started to do so i started <laughs> i started heavily on portraits okay. um and yeah so that's kind of how i got into it and it became a therapy for me, and then I started to sell them in this past year, okay. and I never thought I would ever do that. <laughs> and okay. I got into the business of selling art, and that's been just another world within itself. But yeah, that's kind of how I got started. Okay, come on for coffee. <laughs> it's a therapy, you know. It's a therapy. It's I think that's a key thing to, especially with the pandemic going on, mm -hmm. and like a lot of people like being cooped up in the house, especially last year. I think that's important for people finding their niche. So mm -hmm. like you found. Um, medicine, you found paintings and you weave them together to like make sure you have a nice mental health. So I think that's a, a key thing to, to take away. If you don't take away nothing else from today, to take care of your mental space as well as find your niche, find your hobby, like find out what, in, what you enjoy doing and do it. Literally. She do started it, out no with what. not doing paintings before the pandemic and look now. <laughs> <Come off here. laughs> I think, that, I think that's so important. I think that we get so caught up in life, especially mm -hmm. when it mm -hmm. comes to like school and like Literally. being in school. Especially being students. Yeah, being students. Like, <laughs> how do you know? You feel like you get dragged all the time, you know? And it's like you you need something that's outside of that classroom. Yes, yes. And like that mm -hmm. could be art for you. That could mm -hmm. be music or writing or just like mm -hmm. anything. But everyone needs something. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really doing it. Everyone needs something. And you got to feed that part of yourself. And mine, so I'm what do you, what would you say that inspired you to 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 bring it to blossom so i yeah. you mentioned about like the pandemic and starting there but what was like okay i'm sitting at the house and like wow i want to like paint like <laughs> you mentioned like you started from a, a childhood like what sparked it what was that initial spark the, that made that happen for sure um i think my initial spark was honestly like just from like back to a mental health standpoint. I okay. feel like when I started in my undergrad career, I felt like I just got so much anxiety. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I had never experienced anxiety, honestly, until college. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what really made that push of putting something down and doing it all the time. Mm -hmm. So I would do it like in between my study breaks and all that stuff. And then, and then as far as like actually sharing it with the world, um, last year actually, from back. Come on now. <laughs> So at the end of last year, um, I always like I, I consider my new year once I finish in, in academic school year. So okay. I like to okay. Revolve around school, you know. Mm -hmm. Um. So around May or so, I always just like I like to reflect on how my year went. And last year was the first time that I did it inside of like 
just more of like an art form. So okay. I drew pictures of just like wow. different emotions that I had wow. had gone through that year. And like some of them were happy, some of them were dark. Like you know, cause like that's just how life is. And I think that series was the first time I ever did like my own self portrait. Wow. And doing that I think allowed me to be like, okay, well maybe someone else would get something out of the art that I'm doing. And that's kind of what brought me into making it into a business. Before that, I didn't share it on social media. I never on Instagram. Until mm-hmm. this past like year, year and a half is when I really started sharing it online. Wow. And like, okay. so outside of like my close, close friends, like my like immediate family, like, like I didn't share that art side of me because like I kept it so sacred to me. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. realized, okay, well maybe this might benefit somebody, yeah, somebody else. else. Or like, mm-hmm. or maybe it'll inspire someone else like dive mm-hmm. into what they do outside of their jobs or mm-hmm. anything like that. And just doing that more personal series of self-reflection is I think what really brought me mm-hmm. to- Self-reflection, wow. Self-reflection, wow. yeah. Wow. It, was, <laughs> wow. it, was, it was a series of me being able to just like, like, yeah, so I feel like it spoke to me, which made me more so like, okay, well, like, maybe my art is beyond this amazing. Right, you know? right. And like, maybe that's on me to share with other people, and that's what I started doing. I think that's the interconnection right there. Medicine <laughs> and paintings, we literally don't go to school and, and med school just to say doctor in front of your name. You literally go to help someone else. So, help somebody else! That's so it. Nice and art. <laughs> To the good part, well, the good, good part. So definitely take the advice we just said. Uh, I think that was all pertinent, but what y'all really came here for. Okay, so like Nam said, she's uh, amazing. So I'm gonna stop talking and let her talk about some different paintings um, that she's done in the, in the past few months. Yes, okay, so they're all kind of arranged. Um, I've been working with like, a lot of like broken glass lately um and i had this painting of drake that i did um and i really just had it as, like, as just wow. this painting of like just him wow. um and then i wanted to do more of like a marvel type of art feel and that's when he was the first of this new abstract wow. collection wow. Wow. it's the details so like <laughs> not the details <laughs> details it's the details. It's the details. Yeah. So yeah. So I'm trying to move into more of like an abstract feel of art. Um. So I still had that portrait, but then I was trying to do like more of like a marble, like broken glass, a okay. geo rock type feel, which is like a kind of like a sciencey thing too, you know. So yeah. So he is more of like my abstract collection, but this is an example of like a portrait because okay. that's what I've been really big on. And then he has these two side pieces that go with him. If you want to hold one, I'll let you hold one. Yeah. Like which way you turn it. Yeah, and then they kind of have the side pieces go with it. Yeah, so uh, uh, this kind of shows them more. (laughs) I love it. Just the more abstract side that I'm trying to go into. um, And making these on a much bigger, bigger scale. So I actually just did one piece just like this on like a 36 by 40 canvas. Yeah, so really, really big. Um, and yeah, I just love this type of art. I so think. how does how does the process include for you? So do like, do you outline him first, or like how how does the process work? Yes, that's that. Yes, yes, process. Um, so I always uh, draw before I paint. Um, okay. I call them like my on a little, piece of paper. Mm-hmm. So I call them my little uh, skeleton. So I'll like draw him out, and that'll be his little uh, skeleton. Um, I stop a sheet of paper, and then I'll take like. Uh, pencil and, and kind of outline him extremely lightly because if not like pencil marks are so mm-hmm. hard to erase. Um, yeah, and then I'll kind of put him on the canvas, but I won't put him in a lot of detail. Oh, and then okay. that's when I can play with like my oil paints later. Okay. Um, so he was down first and he was completely dry. Um, and then I go in and I add a little uh, white details to all my mm-hmm. paintings. I don't really mm-hmm. like to see a little mm-hmm. white outlines. <laughs> I add them to every, every, every little portrait that I do. Um, so I had him down on the canvas, honestly, for weeks. And okay. then I use um, some resin, which is what gives it that gloss effect. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. And I just pour down some browns and some golds to make this look. It's the hairline for me. <laughs> I'm so weak. Yeah, you know the line is a little crazy. I, I try my best. I put it in here. I love it. This is I great. Try my best. This is yeah. Great. So, yeah, so he kind of moved into my more abstract art that I'm trying to do now. Okay, okay. Um, Because, yeah. We okay. And then this is my a second one I'll show you. So okay. <laughs> Again, kind of going into I'm, I'm trying to move into that abstract 
abstract feel. Okay. Um, just like colors and like paint pouring. So I literally, which I'll send you the clip of me actually doing this painting. Okay. So okay. I'll send it to you. Um, but yeah, I just poured out some colors. Um, well, first I painted half her face. Okay. Um, and then I poured out different uh, rainbow color paints and I blew it out and it and I paint poured. So what was your inspiration behind this? So obviously it's a black woman with the afro. So what, what were your thoughts while, while you were doing this? Like, like all of a sudden you you wanted to, to paint this. So what was what were your thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so I really wanted to paint a black woman with an afro. Was like my main mm -hmm. <laughs> like thing. Um, I was just trying to put a black woman on a canvas, but I wanted it to be with color. Wow. Um, and I think that at times, as being black women, we, I feel like, are told a lot as to how we need mm -hmm. to act, how the world mm -hmm. sees us, how it's like, you can be uh, too aggressive or mm -hmm. like not be aggressive enough. And it's just like, it's yeah. such a way of how we are supposed to be. Right. So I felt like I needed it to be a side of, of, of maybe you might show this side, but it's, it's so much more. Like, oh. it is like so many different colors, like lines and shapes and just like so many dimensions of what it means to be a black woman. Wow. You know, wow. so it's not, it's not, it's not that black and white, you know what I'm saying? Wow. So, so it's not that black and white and like that's how, <laughs> so wow. that, yeah, so that's kind of like the idea of, of this, of having a strong black woman who is not that black and white. I really love this Depending word. Depending on how you this say it. Really <laughs> I love that so much, really yes. Yeah. So we... Yes, we're not that black and white, and that was this whole idea and this wow. whole concept of this one. Um, so what is the average time of making something like this? Yes, so uh, this one was a lot quicker than uh, the one I just showed you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, to do her black and white side, um, I would say this whole part right here probably took me about two hours. Okay. And honestly, this part right here took me maybe about an hour or so. Oh, wow. Yes, okay. so probably like three, I would say four hours total. Okay. Um, to do a painting like this, and there's no gloss on it, uh, no nothing like that. I like the, the the rawness of it. It's very raw, yeah. I really love it. <laughs> this picture really is very, yes, yeah, it is very very raw. That's kind of just Perfect. like the vibe of this one. But yeah, we're not just black and white, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of. Can you take away for This is the third one. And um, yeah, again, if you see all of them have that little marble. Mm -hmm. I really of love that this. marble, yeah, and this one is just more on like a black love type That's feel. Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. More of a black but also, I think it's the complexity. It's like it's not just like natural hair, or this may even be um, how she curled it. Like it's the complexities of it, and then showing showing forth the passion and the love in it. And then I think what adds the sparkle is like the marble on the side. The so it's not just, it's kind of like the whirlwind of love, like the, the whirlpool of love. Like, there you go, right is, there. I, I really like it, I really like Back it. Back to those twists and turns. Yeah, for, mm -hmm. for sure, it's definitely, and like, and love is so complicated, you know? Mm -hmm. And I feel like we all have our stories of love. We all have that, we all have that. Yeah, love can be a winding road. Mm -hmm. it, it really can be, and mm -hmm. it's like, but once you are on a good path, with love, like love can be so beautiful, right, and black right. love can be so beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and that's kind of just, yeah, it, it all ha kind of has that in my next collection, it is my marble collection, they all have that marble feel to me. Wow. Um, but yeah, this I just needed to like showcase love and, mm -hmm. and like the example of yeah. what it could be compared to what we might see of it or the genre mm -hmm. personal experiences of it, having that faith that, yeah, like people that are good and like good, healthy relationships exist. You just have to find the right people. Find the right, <laughs> find the right people and and that'll work for you. And in the and yeah, and in my past, um, love has been such like an interesting avenue for me and like just the way I view it. Mm -hmm. Um and yeah, so I just wanted to put something on a canvas that I feel like represented where I was at with that. I really like this. You know? Perfect. So, yeah. This is literally perfect. Okay, so the last <laughs> piece of advice, someone, not advice, but someone would ask, okay, so how do I reach Liana? Like, I really love these paintings. Uh, like, how do I get in contact with her to the, discuss pricing and, and details about delivery? Like, how does that work? Like, someone watching this in LA. <laughs> like, how do they reach you? Yes, um, so I go by LZH underscore art space that is my website lzh art space okay. um and that's how i do all my stuff so that's how i sign my paintings 
Um, and then I signed it with the little I love you and sign language. Wow. And if you can see right there. So that's like my little uh, logo. Um, yes, I wear bilateral hearing aids. So you know, that's a little piece of me in there. Um, yes. Yeah, so that's like- Oh, what's the love you sign? It goes like this. Wait a minute, we're gonna get it right. Uh, you'll get it right, you'll put that thumb out. Cause that's an I in sign language. Mm -hmm. That's an L and that's a Y. So wow. it's like, yeah, I love you. Yeah, I love so you. I saw, <laughs> that's it right there. So I sign all my paintings like that. Uh, but yeah, so LGH Art Space, um, I, you can just, I have my website in my link in my Instagram okay. bio. Um, also, you can always just DM me. Uh, okay. Right now, I, uh, like I said, I'm trying to move into more of an abstract theme. Um, so I'm moving more into paintings and more into just abstract art or like bigger canvases of just like marbles and glass okay. and like that theme. But I always have a special place in my heart for doing portraits. Okay. Um, so okay. I do, yeah, so I do commission work as well. Okay. Um, so if someone wanted like a picture, like, uh, like that painting of Drake, but like of you, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. um, I do that too. Okay. Uh, but my commission work will just take some time. So all you have to do is just send me an email, um, an email, which I have in, inside my body. Yeah, send me a caption, y'all will see <laughs> Send me an email with a picture that you want and then we can talk about styles. Um, I also just do like, just like, um, just drawings with like charcoal and uh, okay. graphite. So I do like pencil drawing portraits. Um, and like so if you're moving into a new apartment or, or a new space, someone is, is getting their doctorate degree, you need something for your office. For sure, yes. And right now, since I'm moving into more of an abstract theme, as far as like just uh, my pencil drawings, um, I'm doing them on like eight by 11s for- That's perfect. Yeah. And it's that's for office. For office, yes. Yeah, I'm doing them on eight by 11s, depending on how much of your body you want, those are between like 50 and 100, uh, just for that portrait uh, face of some charcoal and drawings. But yeah, so you just have to send me an email of what you want or it might be available on my website if you don't want a commission piece. And But yeah, I can always make some shake too, you know? That's you it. Got it. Like, you got it. Like, oh, I no. have loved all of this. I hope you have too. Um, so definitely, <laughs> definitely check it out in the caption and, and in the memos or wherever you want to go. Check out her Instagram. Check out the website. Send her a message. Get something great. Send me a message. And be great. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this episode with student Dr. Liam Collinsworth, and I will see y'all next week for what? A feel good, good Friday. Friday. <laughs> it's the feel good Friday. <laughs> see y'all next week.